Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So basically in today's video I am going to be testing out my Beauty Bay PR. So they sent me PR. I was lucky enough to make the PR list. I did a... they were doing a search on Twitter and I put down four of my favourite images of my latest looks. They were like, right, we can't even believe that you're not on the team yet. Welcome to Generation Beauty Bay. Here we are. I am going to test out what they sent me today. I've already done an unboxing. I will leave the link hopefully below and also at the end of this video if you want to watch that. But yeah, let's get bloody started guys. So we are bare face at the moment because they did send me some sponges to try. So I'm going to grab them out of the box. I'm actually going to show you them like this and then we're going to go... And this is it wet and this is it dry. The magic of editing, guys. Now, these are the microfiber sponges and I believe they are doing a deal at the moment where if you buy £25 worth of foundation, you get one of these bad boys for free. I think two of these bad boys because they come in a pack of two. But yeah, I'm going to use this to put on my foundation today. So I just used the Makeup Revolution foundation in the shade F5. Um, I just find it works really well for my oily ass skin and it doesn't dry me out or anything. But um, yeah, it's just what I use. Um, I don't think I have to explain why I use it. I'm, I've got oily skin and it works for me. Right, so let's see what this applies foundation like. I can say, oh my god, it's so soft. Like it's softer than my Morphe sponges for sure. And it feels really good on the skin. But I don't know if it's picking up more of the product than putting it down. Let me just try it for this side. Oh no, it's definitely putting the product down. But I just feel like I get more coverage with my Morphe sponge for some reason. It might just be me though. Let me just try on my forehead. And oh yeah, no, actually it, it does do quite a good job. And it feels so soft. It feels literally like I'm, oh, what's a good? It feels like, I know what it feels. It feels like a cotton ball. You know when, you, obviously everyone knows what a cotton ball is. It feels like a cotton ball. Like I'm just, it's so soft. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of my foundation on and then we'll get started with the palette. Okay, I've just gone off camera, done my brows and my eyes. I've done my Painterly Paint Pot and also Benefit Cabrow, which I think... I don't think you can get either of those on Beauty Bay, but that's what I used. <laughs> Moving on, we're going to go and jump into the Identity Palette. Now, this is what she looks like inside. I... I have a love hate and relationship with this because it has so many neutrals but it also does have quite a few colours like all of these rows have colours and then all of this is neutral but what I thought is I could do my contour with one of these shades I think that would be quite good so let's do a few swatches I am going to swatch one that I think would be good for contour hmm so I'm going to swatch transition one. I'm going to tell you what I'm swatching and then I'll show you them all. I'm going to swatch transition six, which is an orange. I'm going to swatch crease three. I'm going to also swatch, I mean, I have to use the reds. Like I have to, I'm using the reds today. Like there's no ifs or buts about it. I'm using the reds. So I'm going to swatch next liner five. Oh, that is a good red. <gasps> Yes. Then I'm going to swatch pop two. Then I'm going to swatch pop five, which is a shimmer red. Oh, that looks yummy. And then last two swatches, I'm going to swatch highlight two and then highlight seven. Okay guys, so these are the shades I just swatched. They actually swatched so amazingly, so buttery and so nice. I cannot wait to play with them. Um, literally no disappointments there. I think this might be a bit too dark for contour, but we'll see what happens if we go in with a light hand. 
Also, I forgot to mention, it has a huge mirror. Like, hello, this mirror is huge. But it also, like, you cannot carry this with one hand and do your makeup. It's just, like, too much. And it blocks the light as well because it's so bloody big. Like, look how much it blocks the light. So I'll be using my Jeffree Star mirror. Um, but, yeah, it does have a huge mirror in case you were wondering. So, yeah, I am going to use Transition 1 and see what it's like to contour. And I'm going to go in with a light hand and see... How we go with this shade. Oh, it's actually not too bad. It's a bit dark, but because I'm going in with a light hand, I think I'll get away with it. And then I'm just going to brush upwards. Oh, it's not too bad. It kind of like goes on pigmented, but then it blends really nicely. Oh, that's actually a really nice contour shade. Okay, work. Let me just build it up a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, it's actually not too bad for a contour shade. Like, it definitely reminds me of my Anastasia Beverly Kills contour shade. Love that. Okay, now that we are all contoured, let's get into the palette of the eyes. The eyes... Let's get into the eyes. Let's get into the eyes. First off, I'm going to go in with... Transition 6, which is this orange shade. And I'm going to grab that on my Morphe JS12 and basically use it as a transition. That's what it's called. Let's use it for what it's called. And I'm going to start pressing that in my... Or just above my crease, really. And see what this is like. This is a lot more red-toned orange than I thought. It looks orange-orange in the pan, but it's actually like a kind of brick red. Uh, brick orange, I mean. But yeah, I'm just going to tap that down to start off with. It's applying really nicely, like I'm not gonna lie. It's pigmented and it's buttery and it's applying lovely. She's doing lovely, gal. And then with no product on my brush, I'm just gonna go around the edges and work on blending that out. Now guys, oh my god, I got a blue stick the other day and I've really been trying to practice gluing down my brows because I'd love to do like a brow-less look for the cremated palette. But, oh. They're so bushy, like I cannot glue these down to save my life. They're so hard to glue down, but I'm tr I think I'm getting there. I've been watching so many tutorials, but I think... The way I learn is if I do it by myself, so I just need to keep doing it and doing it, I think, and then I'll eventually get there, but oh my god, it's so hard to glue down brows, like, drag queens are so good at their craft, like, everything they do, I'm just like, how? But wow, hello, that blended out amazingly, if I do say so myself, um... I'm shook, like, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. <laughs> okay, moving on, I'm going to go in with this red shade, which is Liner 5. Actually, I don't think I explained why they're called these things, so I'm going to just show you that. So, the way this palette is set out, it has numbers at the top, 1 through to 7, and then it has your base, it has your transition, crease, liner, pop, and highlight, and that's like a simple guideline for a beginner, but I'm, of course, jumping all over the palette because I don't think I'm a beginner. I would classi classify myself as a beginner. But yeah, that is how the palette is laid out. So if you're getting confused as to why I'm saying liner and like base and transition, that's what the shade names are called. But yeah, we're going to take liner five on that same brush and we're just going to wiggle that in to a little bit lower than that orange transition color. I really wanted to use the reds. Like, are we surprised? Probably not. And I'm just going to tap that in well, basically around the crease. I'm still not in my actual crease yet because I have a deep set eyes. I learned the other day, I don't have hooded eyes, I have deep set eyes. So hooded eyes is when your skin actually covers your eyelid. But if you have deep set eyes, it just kind of like wrinkles in on itself, which is still kind of like hooded eyes, but it's not. But yeah, I have been saying that the, for the longest time that I have hooded eyes, I don't I have deep set eyes. So I know the actual definition of them now. I'm sure you learned that in makeup school, but I can't afford it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to take this all the way around, just above the crease, and blend it in nicely with that orange, which it's doing its own job. Like, it's just blending in already. <laughs> I'm really surprised. Like, I don't know why, but I thought the formula would be a bit iffy. 
but I'm having like no trouble with these shadows at all. Like they're really impressing me. <laughs> Even around this spot, which we all know is my difficult spot, it's packing over really nicely and it's not going patchy, which it normally does with every eyeshadow under the sun. I love that. That's a win for me. Right, beautiful. I'm just going to do the other eye of camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, moving on, I'm gonna go in with another shade. And that shade is going to be Crease 2, which is this purple right here. <laughs> Bless me. I'm gonna go in with my Sula brush. This is the JS13 and start packing this in the actual crease of my eye. And try not to take it any higher than that red because we don't want to lose that red. And I forgot to say, Beauty Bay actually watched my unboxing video and they reached out to me and they said, we watched your video and we just wanted to let you know that the rainbow palette was out of stock when you were added to the list. But as soon as it comes back in stock, we're gonna send it to you. I was like, yes. This formula is sickening. Give me the rainbow formula because I am here for it. The rainbow palette and the formula. But just, just to say like, they watched my video. That is so lovely for them to go out their way to watch my video and they probably watched everyone else's video that have done a video like this for their PR team. I just think, thank you. <laughs> just think when a brand goes out of their way to like watch what they've done is just so lovely. Unicorn Cosmetics also did the same and they like loved my video and I'm just so grateful to be on these teams that actually care about me, do you know what I mean? But yeah, just taking this purple on my outer corner as well and taking a little bit onto the lid just so that we can blend it in with the colour that I go in with. But yeah, I'm also just tapping this in because I don't want to lose the red and it's basically blending itself out as I tap, so love that so much. Okay, I'm just going to cut my crease off camera, but I did also just touch up a lot off camera. I just want to say that I do do like a lot of touching up off camera. I'll do like more blending, more adding, more taking away, whatever I need to do. Um, what you see on camera isn't all that I do. Like I do a lot off camera too. I just want to say that I think people forget that and they're like, why doesn't mine look that good? And they're like, yeah. Okay, so I've just cut the crease off camera and I used my P. Louise base. I'm going to jump back into that purple, just pop that on the outer corner. Just so I can bring it back and also just blend it in with the concealer. Just like that, just to tidy it up. Okay guys, up next I'm going to take Pop 5, which is a shimmery red. And guys, when I swatched this, it had bleeding heart energy from Jeffree Star, so... Let's see what she's like. So the formula in the pan, they look like, um, oh, what's it called? Baked, they look like a baked formula. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how good they are because baked formulas are usually really good. But yeah, this is that red shimmer. Oh, you know what? That does look like a bit of bleeding heart from Jeffree Sarkis makes blood last. That does look very similar. Same kind of formula as well, but it's a good formula. Yeah, honestly, I feel like I'm le I'm using Bleeding Heart right now, which is really good. That's just like, it's matching up to Jeffree Star formula, like, hello. <laughs> I'm going to take this, mm. hmm. I think up to like here, and then I will go in with the next shade. But yeah guys, I'm absolutely shook by the Beauty Bay formula. Like, I know I've tried it before, but that was a Beauty Bay slash Mimima Mitchell collab, and I was just expecting that to be good because it's Mimima Mitchell and he would probably be really fussy with the formula. But knowing their own brand, their just formula is good. Like I'm really quite taken back. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I've wanted to try that rainbow palette as well for so long. So I'm so glad that they're gonna be sending that my way so I can finally try it. I actually, it's so weird because I was looking at buying it just before I got on the PR list. And I like, I was like, mm, if I make it though, I might get it sent in PR. And then I got on the PR list and I was like, what the hell? All the stars are lined and that's just weird. <laughs> I have gone with my finger. I'm gonna go with my finger, see what that's like. Can you believe that I have gone with my finger? Oh, that is so much better. It literally, 
I keep saying it, but it feels like bleeding heart. Like, wow. Okay, guys, that is that shade on my eyes. Moving on. I'm gonna pop over to Pop 2, which is this duochrome purpley blue. And I'm going to pop in straight with my finger and just pop that right here and see how that works blending into that purple. You know what? That blends in amazingly to that purple. Hello. Wow. Damn, Beauty Bay, you really did that, didn't you? You really I didn't even need to like touch up or anything. That's just on there and it's done and it's shiny and shimmery and perfect in every way, shape or form. Wow. I can't believe how quick that just went on. And it's just like, it's blended in perfectly and I don't even need to do any touch ups. Like, hello. Wow. Okay, moving on to the lower lash apparently. <laughs> okay, what I could do, which would be pretty boring for me, is match the top of what I did here on my under eye. But I'm not gonna do that. But I am gonna go in with the purple first. So once again, this shade is crease two and I'm just going to take that on the outer corner right here. Not too dramatically, but just enough so that it like meshes in with the top of my eye. I think I might just grab, I've got this brush here with that orange dill on it. I'm just gonna grab that and just lightly dust that like that so that it blends out nicely. Yeah, perfect, that's all I needed. Okay, then I'm taking that red shimmer shade that I used on my cut crease. I'm just going to take that right here. I wanna fit four colors on my under eye, so let's see how we go. Actually, five colors. Then I'm gonna go in with pop six, which is this orange shimmer. And I'm going to pop that in my middle under eye. Oh, I've still got some highlight yellow from <laughs> my look yesterday. And just pop that here. And then I'm gonna take highlight six. I'm gonna take that right here. And it looks, oh, okay. Wow, that's really pretty. Um, I'm gonna take it almost to my inner corner. Not, not quite yet. We want one more color to fit under my eye. I'm shoving them all under my under eye today. Um, wow, this reminds me of Wet Dream from Jeffree Star. Like the Wet Dream formula. It's really glittery, but it's also, I don't know, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's good, it's good. Yeah, it is very glittery. Okay guys, and the last shade on my under eye I'm gonna go in with is Highlight 7, which is this one in the very corner of the palette. And I'm going to take that right here. Not in my actual inner corner, but just almost there. In this under eye bit here. Oh, that's really pretty. It's actually more yellow than got, uh, green. I was expecting it to be quite green. But it's more like a yellowy green. It's still really pretty though. Oh, lovely. Okay guys, and then to finish off this eye look, I'm gonna go in with a highlighter shade in my inner corner. And I think it's best to go with the brighter shade Highlight 2, which is this one here. And I'm just going to whack that in the inner corner. Oh, yes. That's stunning. Oh, it's quite pink actually. I thought it was quite like white, but it's actually pink, which goes well with the look, so I'm not mad. <laughs> it's like a um, rose gold color. Oh, work, that actually goes really well with the look, so love that. I'm going to take that in my eyebrow bone as well. Lovely, I love like highlighter. I love highlighter, period, period. <laughs> Just going to pop off camera, do my lashes. I'm also gonna do my waterline. I'm gonna follow these same colors with Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. You'll see in a second and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back, lashes are on, and it's highlighter time, my favorite time of all. And I'm going to try another shade from the palette. So we're gonna go in with highlight three, which is this shade. And I'm just gonna see if it's dark, like too dark for me. So I'm just gonna lightly go in first. Okay. I think I'll get away with it. I went full hair in my brush and let's see what it looks like on the cheek. It's not bad, it's just not blinding. So I think I'm gonna go in with the shade that I use in my inner corner and my eyebrow bone as well. Go in with that instead because I think it's a lot brighter. Ooh. Um, Like it's bright but it's not like, it's not, it's not doing what I want it to do. It's not Jeffree Star highlight is it it looks good on the eyes it just doesn't look good on the cheeks like it's not giving me that wow factor that highlighter usually gives me 
Let me really like coat my brush and see what that's like. Oh see, we're getting there, but like it's taking a lot of work and like I just want to go wham bam and done. So I'm gonna go in with a gold breaker. Um you can find Jeffree Star Cosmetics on Beauty Bay as well, so I'm not like breaking the rules, but I just want something a little bit more blinding. Like look at that. Hello. There she is. There's my cheek. She came to say hello with gold breaker. Oh my god. Like that highlight would have been fine if you're an everyday kind of gal, but I am not an everyday kind of gal. Like I love colour, I love blinding highlight, I love weird lips, give me all of that. I'm into it. Okay, and I think this look needs a purple lip, so I'm gonna go in with You Better Work, which is also sold, I mean Jeffree Star is sold on Beauty Bay, we all know this. So I'm gonna pop that on the lips. I haven't worn this, I think, since I bought it, so like it's about time I crank that on my lips. So let's see, she might be a bit dry though. I got her quite a while ago, let's see. Oh, it's a bit dry, but I think I can make it work. I'll be right back with the finished look. Okay, as much as I love this purple lip, I think it needs a little bit more of a pop. So I'm going to pop, Jeffrey, what the fuck? Inside the center of my lips, just to give it a little bit of an ombre. Okay guys, and that's the finished look. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's talk about all the products I used. So, the sponge. I think I'm going to have to try it out a few more times. It's a bit weird. It just kind of feels like a marshmallow. Um, but it did the job. Um, it did get really dirty, though, on my first go. So, I think I need to use this side next time. I think that's just my bad. Um, but, yeah, it grows a lot in shape. And it is really, really soft. It's very, like, it feels like velvet. Like, it feels like the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. Like, it's really soft. <laughs> The palette is definitely worth every penny. Oh my god, it is so good. You get so many shades. I think it's 25 Australian. I'm gonna look it up. It is 38 Australian dollars. I'm pretty sure it would be 20 pounds then. Um, and it is so worth the money. You get so many shades. You get bloody 42 shades. Like, hello, that's a lot of shades. It is at 42, yeah, it's 42 color palette. And they... Like, I tried every formula today. I tried the matte formula, sickening, buttery, splends out like a dream. I tried this kind of baked formula. Reminds me a lot of the one that Jeffree Star uses, which is really good, really pigmented, really easy to work with. And the duo chromes performed really well. And the highlighters are also amazing. I really loved this green one. This green one, like, turned it out in my inner corner on my under eye. Um... I'm very, very impressed. I'm very, very grateful to be a part of this team. I cannot wait to see what they do in the future because I'll be able to try it out for you guys and see what it's like. The one thing I didn't review today, they are sitting right here, is the Living My Best Light uh, Shimmery Eyeshadows. I have already tested these out on my channel, so I will leave that down below linked and also at the end of this video. They are really good. They are so shimmery. They're just like the Steeler ones, maybe even a little bit better. And they are so cheap, so yeah, I highly recommend these as well if you're thinking of getting them. Especially the Duro Chrome ones, they're so good. Um, so yeah, I might test out these actual shades later on a later date, but they are so good. Yeah guys, that is it for today's video. I highly recommend the Beauty Bay palettes, the Beauty Bay sponges, and the Living My Best Lights. Liquid eyeshadows. They are all so good. I am very impressed and I cannot wait to try things in the future I can't wait to see what Beauty Bay does. I wonder if they'll ever do like their own foundation Like all of that kind of stuff. It'll be very interesting and yeah, I can't wait to try it out But yeah, that is it for today's video guys Like I said, I have both the mini Norvina palettes to test out. I have the Black Widow palette to test out I think I might hold off for that because I've done like a kind of red look today um, but yeah, I think I want to play with a Norvina mini next video, so get keen for that. If you enjoyed this video, I would literally love if you give it a massive thumbs up down below. Let me know down below which Norvina mini you'd like to see. I have volume two or three in the mini, so the green one and the red blue one, the cherry one. Let me know, and I will do that. 
If you haven't already, I would literally love if you would subscribe to my channel. We are slowly growing and, um, oh, just one thing. Someone in the UK received their cremated PR, so I'm really hoping that I will be getting it before Friday. I'd love, love, love to get it before the launch. I don't know if it's gonna happen though, just because I am in Australia and it takes a while for stuff to get to us. But fingers crossed that I do get it this week and I'll have that video up for you as soon as I possibly can. Follow me on Instagram at literallewis2.0 to get the Lando, the, the, uh, the Lando, the lowdown on when I'll receive my PR. I will be obviously storying it. I will be posting all the product shots and then I will be doing my big review on here. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm just like really want to challenge myself with this palette because like I said, it's a black and white palette. But yeah, that is it guys. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. We are fully like restrictions lifted kind of mode and everyone's shopping and stuff and it's like such such a good vibe out there like we went for beach walks and all that along the weekend like I said on my weekend away and the vibe is just happy everyone is just so happy and loving and just like grateful that this is all over for us I know that it might not be over for you but just know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it is all going to be better soon it's just we need to Look, look like Australia did stay inside and it will eventually disappear like it went down so quick as soon as everyone started self-isolating and went outside went inside gone and we have had no cases for two to three weeks now which is just really good but yeah the airport and all of that is still closed we're not letting anyone in I think it's like half Australia is closed so like that side is closed and this side is open and running back to normal but we're still not running flights or anything I don't think but yeah I just wanted to give you a little update that is what our situation is in Australia Adelaide and I hope you guys are okay let me know down below like what's your situation I would love to know actually I'm really curious and that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Bye.